Well, that's lovely scripture for us to hear today, Barbara. <laughs> Could you have made it any tougher? <laughs> I was counting on you, Joe. <laughs> yeah. It reminds us to stick together and to rely on God, God's love and God's intentions for all of us. And thinking that intention would be to help bring the kingdom of God. Yeah, well, actually, um, when I read that scripture, I really thought it was perfect for today because it does remind us of the way in which God looks out for us, no matter where we are, who we are. And it really does talk about the kingdom of God. And so what I wanted to do today, you know how over the last five years, I have loved to make the altar. And I've uh, done it for a week at a time or for a season to reflect the theme of what's happening. And so this morning, I wanted to make one last altar that reflects how I understand Hillview as part of the kingdom of God, and it's all stuff from my office. Well, I don't see it. You're going to have to do some explaining to do. Maybe you can walk me through some of these things. Yeah, uh, sure. What's, what's this? For, go okay, through well, that one Okay, again. well, we just did the summer surprise box with the kids, and, you know, we all love the kids, don't we? And part of what they do for us is they invite us, I think, to play and to be joyful. And um, we love the children, but I also love what they bring out in us because I think childlike faith is the key. Now, that's not childishness, which we also are capable of doing, but just that childlike faith that's full of trust and openness and joy and laughter. I think that that's a big part of the kingdom of God, and I think we do that here really, really well. Now, this one I was getting asked about uh, before the service today, so you, you got some explaining to do. Yeah, well, um, if you can't read this, this says, Princess Parking Only, All Others Will Be Toad, T-O-A-D. I found this in my office one day, and it's one of many, many princess things I have received. When I first came here, I don't know if you were here, but people were asking me, would you, what would you like to be called, Barbara or Pastor Barbara or Reverend Barbara? And I said, actually, I prefer princess. And in the good humor that we're talking about here, the playful spirit, I've been gifted with lots of princess paraphernalia that express that playfulness and how we get to be ourselves. Now this one here, it's a, uh, a family circus cartoon. That was on my door. On, on the door of the office yeah. when you got here. And uh, the three little kids are sitting on dad's lap and he's uh, about to read him a story when the little girl looks up to him and says, when I grow up, is there a job that'll let me be a princess on the weekends? Yes. I'm not sure who gave that to me, but it was on my door from then on. Is that person here, whoever gave me that? Just the sweetest little thing. I would tell her, yes, there is a job where you can be princess on the weekend, for sure. And of course, your elephant. What well, about that one? Well, and this is just one elephant. People have gifted me with all different kinds of elephants, and I find now that I collect elephants, which I hadn't done before I came here. But um, an elephant for me is a symbol of all the things we talked about at children's time. And I also love that story in um, Horton Hears the Who, the Dr. Seuss book, where Horton says, I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. You know how that goes? An elephant's faithful 100%. And I think this reminds me of faithfulness and the way here at Hillview, people work at being closer and closer to 100% faithful. I love that. Makes perfect sense. Now this one here though, this one, this is one of the, the stamps that you can mark paper with. Yeah. And there's uh, the names of all the office all, staff. Yeah, all the this. staff. I have to confess to you, this hasn't been in my office. I've, I've stolen it. Um, and I intend to keep it. Um, I, it doesn't do us much good anymore because your thing. name's on it. I know. I gifted Claudia with this because there's certain things that we pass around the office and it circulates through everybody. And instead of everybody writing their names down or her writing the names down, just checking them off, I gave her this little checkoff thing. I promise I'll replace it with a new one. But this is an incredible reminder to me and to you of the people who work in this place, who are passionate, who care so much about Hillview, 
who care for all of you in ways I don't know if you realize. So it reminds me of them, but then it's just a tiny leap to the lay people in this congregation who step up in leadership roles and put in tons of time and effort and talent to make things happen here. The same kind of dedication is with them. And then I see it rising up in so many of you in so many ways. So it's a reminder again of that faithfulness and about how we all have different gifts and we use them in the kingdom of God. Are you starting to catch on to how this works? Uh, I'm getting there. Okay. Um, this little guy here? Oh, yes. We know Flat Jesus. Flat Jesus was a Maggie invention, and he's available again this year, and he is a fantastic reminder of this idea that we don't stay in this building. We take our lives as followers of Jesus out wherever we go. That also is the kingdom of God. And remember in prayers this morning how many different places Hillview people were this weekend. Wonderful. And speaking of living our faith, I recognize the bracelets that we've had around the church oh, here yes. for a while. Yes. These are kind of precious to me. The most recent bracelet, of course, is the ones that our kids made to celebrate the third anniversary of being a reconciling congregation. This is a very sweet, simple little reminder of the way in which we not only welcome all, but we believe God treats all and loves all equally. And then last Lent, we had the season where we tried to notice people and in our own lives when there were acts of love and be thankful. And then we also had the year before, I loved this season, the season of nonviolence where, ah, like almost 100 people here and tons of people in the community signed little pledges and wore these bracelets to remind them to notice when we behave violently with our speech or with our entertainment choices, or the games we play, or the jokes we tell. It was a really useful thing, and it's such a hugely important piece of how I understand what it means to live in the kingdom, because um, Jesus was a teacher of the nonviolent way of life. That's what the kingdom is all about. So those bracelets um, remind me of how we're out in the world, taking our faith right along. Okay, I won't make any more jokes about CUNA. Um, <laughs> A meta prayer. Oh, I I never figured that word out. It's not something I usually use in my daily life. But well, what, what um, the uh, the meta prayer is the prayer song that we sang twice today, that was taught to us by our friends uh, from the interfaith community, and um, I keep this little prayer. I think it covers so much of how we understand what it means to bring the kingdom and to make the world a better place. That serves as a reminder to me that as people of faith and followers of Jesus, we don't think we know it all. We don't have it all sewn up. Um, we can learn and share with people of other faith traditions. There's a couple little pieces of paper up here. Yeah, yeah. What, what's this all about? Well, those, like recipe cards. Well, those I've kept on my desk. Um, I like to keep little notes and quotes in front of me sometimes, and these were the ones that were here at the end when I was closing up. Um, this one has been in my office wherever I've served for years. I've had to recopy it a few times, it got worn. But this is a quote from Parker Palmer. See if this makes sense to you. Truth is a conversation about things that matter with people who care. Truth is a conversation about things that really matter with people who really care. That is how I experience this place and so many of you so often. You know, we talk about things that really matter because we really care, and then we try to turn that into action. And then I kept this little note on my desk, Hillview, a place where faith matters. Because we coined that little slogan, not as some kind of mission statement, but just a reminder that what we do here is so that our faith will matter out in the world. I love that. And then this last one, somewhere along the line, maybe two, three years ago, I picked up this, don't believe everything you think. I look at this frequently, and there's real wisdom in it. So those are just some little reminders about faith and life in the kingdom for me. This is one I've always enjoyed uh, when you brought this one up. Oh, yes. Okay. So um, baptisms here at Hillview. Um, you know how when we baptize someone, I have put into the big uh, pitcher water from, water from um, Ephesus, water from the Jordan River, 
water from the grotto in Portland, which is a place of prayer, water from Lourdes, a place of healing in France. And then I said that, and a lot of you started bringing me water from your travels. And I loved that. All that water is packed in a little box to go with me, along with this little jar of water from Hillview. So, um, this isn't just about baptisms, though. This is about uh, when a child is baptized, we make promises. We say, we're going to care about this community. We're, gonna, we're going to care about this person, whether you are 80 years old or two months old. Um, we promise to show up for you. Oh, my gosh. You know, Raise your hand if you've had a knee replacement since I've been here. <laughs> I mean, there really are lots of people, but not just knees. People have been in and out of the hospital. We care for each other. I've seen it as I've visited and listened to people report about how much they feel looked after. When we have lost loved ones, and in the past five years, we've lost way too many people, and um, this community steps up. Um, if you're sick, they step up. If you're stuck at home, we step up. If you need rides, we step up. All of that care goes with me, that model of that, in this little bottle of water from the Hillview kitchen sink. I see uh, Sam did some painting, and I see that you've taken your sign off of your yeah. door. Yeah, I did. That was hard to do, actually. Um, this says Pastor Barbara Nixon, and um, I have loved, loved being your pastor. Um, I'm not sure if you understand how, in the life of a pastor, so much of our own growth is connected to the work of the congregation, how you also challenge me, how you engage my life. And I've grown, and I'm, I'm more of a pastor now than when I got here. And I thank you for that. So I'm taking this with me as a reminder of that. Now this last item, this one looks like it's seen better days. Yeah. Black folder, there's uh, not much holding it together anymore. Yeah, What's yeah. the story there? This is really precious to me. This. This black folder um, has had my sermon notes in it every Sunday for five years. And um, I found it in the choir room. It wasn't the kind of, of uh, folder anybody was using. It was in a stack of old things, and I thought it was perfect. So my notes were in here every Sunday because I didn't like the idea of carrying them in in a file folder. I wanted something a little more formal. Um, but the notes, just the notes and the little outlines, for what I wanted to say come from study groups, come from conversations, come from the life of this church and what it seems like we need or what we want to um, share and discover together. And that all points to what happens on Sunday mornings. Um, the life of this church, the lifeblood of this church, I think, is when we gather like this for worship on Sundays. It's um, joyful and beautiful and inspiring. And um, that all is connected to this little black folder. But here's the deal. If you can see, this little black folder is just about shot. I've had to be really careful for the last few weeks um, because it's, it's finished. And I'm letting that be a symbol. I'm letting that be a symbol that it is time for something new in your lives, in my life in our lives that will always be together in the kingdom of God, but in a new way now as we part. I love you dearly. Amen.